G'day guys, here we're going to look at the CT26 and 48 H-Class extractors. Here I'll show you all the product features, all the accessories, consumables, and also how to maintain your unit so you get the most out of it and stay safe and compliant. So we'll take a look around the CT H48, and the same applies to the 26, just a different bag size. So firstly on the, on the bottom you've got your, your brake which you can apply, which is going to bring these front wheels off, off the ground. So if you're on a scaffold uh, or in your vehicle, you can lock it in one place. Uh, on the front panel here, we've got our, our manual and then auto settings. So if we are using these with tools, we can have it on auto, auto on and off, and then manual for our manual cleanup. Here we've got our suction adaption, so we can either um, increase or decrease the suction depending on what we're doing with it and the flow sensor here so the cth dust extractors come with a 27 mil hose so when we're using it we'd have it on 27 but obviously for cleaning kits and that we could have larger hoses 36 so we make sure we've got that on the right setting here we've got our socket again so we can the use of power tools in there that'll be auto on and off and our circuit breaker so this has got a 1200 what maximum connected load again and that's a reset for the circuit breaker just in case it's um you get the surge also in the unit is a little plug and this just goes into the plugs into there so where we are doing more hazardous dust we can just plug that away when we're transporting the unit whatever it might be the sustainers again on top so the t-lock that'll go directly on on top again we can lock them on Okay, getting on site where we've got cleaning kits or whatever it might be, makes it nice and efficient. Okay, a 27mm hose directly into there. When we have a look around the, just around the back of the unit, okay, same deal with the, the cord, we can move that out of the way just so we can get the whole uh, lead off in one go. And then to get into the unit, we can unlock it there. Okay, we've got our, our H-Class filter in here. So that's the only filter that we use for this particular unit, particularly if we're doing H-Class dust. And the difference with this one, it's actually bolted in. So you've got a couple of screws there that we need to undo to change the, change the filter. So that's one regulation for, for that H-Class. Again, flat filter. So we're gonna get a whole lot in the container, 95%. So when we look at our, our bags, so the difference with these bags is that they have got a a two-part bag so they're a, a self-clean bag this means that we're going to always get a, a good efficient suction consistent and then the plastic bag is designed then once we have got the full material we can wrap that up and lock it off so the cable ties there so when the bag's full we can lock it all off and importantly with these bags as well they have got the breathable holes that go in the container so it's important that when the bags fitted these stay in the container then when we're ready to uh, unlock it, we can seal it off, we can sticky back these over the, those holes so again no exposure to the dust and then we can wrap the whole unit up. So just to fit the bag, again we lock into the bottom as well as the top so that's actually joined through there so it's not actually two bags it's joined in one so all we do now is pop that one into the base and then we lock that over the top and all that happens here is our, our bag sits over the top of the container. The breathable holes, so these are on each side, stay inside the unit. And then all we do is we wrap the plastic back and this just, this just opens up the anti-static. So the anti-static connection here, we keep that clear and that drops in there. Again, the self-clean bag, that'll expand when we turn the machine on. And we can put the unit directly on top of that. So just have a bit of an overview of the accessories and the consumables for the H-Class. So firstly, you've got the, the safety bag, the dual aid safety bag, so as a replacement. The H-Class filter, so that's a replacement for, for this one. And also the wet filter is an option as well. Where we're using as a vacuum cleaner, so we've removed this 
this panel here. We can fit both the Bluetooth and also the air module to that. Both of those should be fitted by a uh, technician. So particularly if we're using this as a clean up vac for H-class materials, we can pop this onto the hose. We can fit this by just holding our finger on that until it flashes a little bit faster and then connect that up onto that particular module. And that way, as we're working around, we can turn it on, off and on remotely. The other option, of course, is if we need to use tools in there, the Bluetooth, we can hook the Bluetooth up to it. Again, just hold our finger on that till the light flickers slow and then turn our, turn our tool on and then that'll connect into that as well. So a bit of an overview of the accessories and consumables for the H-Class. Just a few tips for looking after your H-Class extractor. Uh, and also we have got a service process for these as well, so you can contact Festool as far as what the servicing requirements are. Firstly, when we're changing bags and want to replace it, we've got the plug. This will just seal off the, the front of it. Then we'll, then we'll open the unit. Okay, and with our, our safety bag, what we can do is we can now peel these, these back. And this is where we can peel off the, the sticky backs and take that directly over those, those holes. So this is the breathable holes that we put in the container, so we do that on both sides. Then come up to the front of the bag, bring that up, then we can seal that, seal the front of that totally off, again, to limit any exposure to the dust. We then use our, our cable tie. We can wrap that Wrap that completely up and then cable tie it to seal that off. So that way the bag's totally sealed, we can remove that bag and then we can replace it with a, a new uh, H-Class bag. When, when changing filters, for this particular one, so one requirement for a H-Class extractor is that the filter's bolted in, so we just need to remove the screws So all we do there is just, they've got the option for a torx as well as a flathead screwdriver and all that does is release that and then we can, we can take that filter out. A bag comes with that to again put, the, put it in there and seal it. We can pop a new filter in and then lock that up and, and screw that up. So that's just a little bit about changing the, changing the filter. And also, with this bag, as far as servicing goes, this comes with it. And the idea of this is whatever the requirement is, you decontaminate the unit, take the filter out, take the bag out, um, clean the unit, and then this is a transport bag. So the whole unit is is placed in the in the transport bag and then sealed up into this and then sent off to be serviced with a festival uh, servicing process. Okay, that's it for this guide. This will ensure that you get the most out of your system. If you need any further support or information, go to festool.com.au.